Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15 For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Colossians 3 verse 13 Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Mark 11 verse 25 And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Luke 6 verse 37 do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Psalm 103 verse 12 As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22 then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Isaiah 1 verse 18 Come now, let us settle the matter. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Proverbs 17 verse 9 Whoever would foster love covers over an offense, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24 Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. Luke 17 verses 3 to 4 So watch yourselves. If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them, and if they repent, forgive them. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. Romans 12 verses 17 to 19 Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 7 Now instead, you ought to forgive and comfort him, so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. Micah 7 verse 18 Who is a God like you, 
who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance. You do not stay angry forever, but delight to show mercy. Acts 3 verse 19. Repent then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Ephesians 1 verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Matthew 26 verse 28. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Psalm 32 verses 1 to 2. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. Isaiah 55 verse 7 Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord, and he will have mercy on them and to our God, for he will freely pardon. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Romans 4 verses 7 to 8 Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord will never count against them. Psalm 51 verse 1 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Acts 10 verse 43 All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Psalm 86 verse 5 You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Romans 5 verse 8 But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Daniel 9 verse 9 The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. Psalm 130 verses 3 to 4 if you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. Nehemiah 9 verse 17 They refused to listen and failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. They became stiff-necked and in their rebellion appointed a leader in order to return to their slavery. But you are a forgiving God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore you did not desert them. Ephesians 4 verses 26 to 27 In your anger do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. Psalm 25 verse 11 for your name's sake, Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. 1 John 2 verse 12 I am writing to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. Acts 2 verse 38 Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 130 verses 4 to 5 
but with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. Isaiah 43 verse 25 I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and remembers your sins no more. Luke 7 verse 47 Therefore I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little loves little. Acts 13 verse 38 Therefore, my friends, I want you to know that through Jesus the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Psalm 38 verse 18 I confess my iniquity. I am troubled by my sin. 1 John 1 verse 7 But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. Romans 3 verses 23 to 24 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Isaiah 1 verses 16 to 17 Wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. Luke 15 verse 7 I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who do not need to repent. 1 John 1 verse 8 If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verse 1 Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 1 verse 15 Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the worst. Psalm 103 verse 3 Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Luke 24 verse 47 and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Colossians 2 verses 13 to 14 When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. Hebrews 8 verse 12 For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. Acts 13 verses 38 to 39 Therefore, my friends, I want you to know that through Jesus the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Through him everyone who believes is set free from every sin, a justification you were not able to obtain under the law of Moses. Psalm 32 verse 1 Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Luke 11 verse 4 
Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Colossians 3 verses 13 to 14. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Acts 22 verse 16. And now what are you waiting for? Get up, be baptized and wash your sins away, calling on his name. Matthew 6 verse 14. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Romans 12 verse 19. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. Matthew 6 verse 12. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors.